Only on KDKA tonight, a local lawyer is going to bat for people who say they're victims of predatory towing. He's filed a class action lawsuit, even though the towing company in question says it's operating within the law. Here's KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan. They lie in wait outside this CVS in East Liberty. And if someone leaves a lot for something other than shopping at the store, they're free to tow it. Uh, what did they do wrong? Uh, the cars are towed away. When the unsuspecting owners return, they're in for a shock. That's my car. They just took my mom's car. The owners of private lots say they have the right to tow the cars of anyone not doing business in their store. Companies like Tag Towing are only too happy to oblige, demanding hundreds of dollars to give the car back. This is really um, unbelievable. I mean, I've never been through nothing like this before in my whole life. It's a drama that's played out in several locations several times a day. And people who are towed have little choice but to pay their fines and get their car. But now it appears they'll have their say in court. So you parked right here? Yes. Same thing happened to Antoinette Osei, who parked in the CVS lot to get a prescription filled, but went to the bank first to get the money to pay for it. When she came back, her car was on the hook. He said, well, if you give me $200, I will drop your car. And 200 bucks. 200 bucks on Good Friday. Walking by at the time was attorney Josh Ward, who interceded paying the $200. When he returned to his office, he found a city ordinance which limits tow fees to $135. Now he's filed a class action suit. Uh, anybody that has been charged a tow or a drop fee in excess of $135 um, by tag towing is a member of this class and is entitled to compensation. But on the phone, TAG's owner, Brian Henze, disputed the claims, saying the city ordinance applies only to its own designated tow company, McGann and & Chester, and that the city doesn't have the power to cap towing fees. Ward says he'll argue otherwise in court. The fact that they're overcharging is going to be their undoing. For his part, Henzi says his business is perfectly legal and that despite the claims of the car owners, TAG waits at least 20 minutes before towing a vehicle and will often bring it back. After she contacted TAG, they returned Maddie Griffin's car, but she had to pay $250 to get it off the hook. This one minute transaction cost me $250. Andy Sheehan, KDKA TV News. Now, despite TAG's claims that the fees are legal, attorney Josh Ward says he is proceeding with the lawsuit.